Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! 
You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> Lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots. And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. To get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Stay away! I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Really? No. I'm lying. In that case, I don't want one. Well, sorry we couldn't make a deal. Cross me again, and I'll chum for sharks with you. Is that a real eye patch? Aye. Sure it be real. Then why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? It keeps the dust out of me eye socket. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can, too. Ask me how. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. Here. At least take this literature. You may change your mind. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, scabra swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Well, ah! oh, there, there. I 
getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. It's been uh, swell talking to you. Run, then. Run. Run away from the fearsome skull. Until you die, I shall revisit you in your most horrible nightmares. <laughs> Whatever. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Ah, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Haha! <laughs> 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 Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized.